Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind. In the last episode, we finally got through to the fanboy Cody Hackens during our investigation, and we discovered that he may have witnessed the murder directly. However, he immediately went into police protection, and it seems as though with his wording, it could spell trouble for us today in court. And in this episode, we are going to be continuing on to the second trial of the case. I'm excited because I don't feel like I have the entire story planned out to a T right now. Um, I really do feel like I am missing some information, even though I do have quite a few pieces to the puzzle put together. So I'm excited that this one seems to be a lot trickier than the, uh, the first and second cases. Uh, October 19th, 9.42 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. What's up, Will? Um... Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so... unhappy? Uh, oh! Oh, nothing! <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Oh, Mia's still here. I thought she was peacing out, and I thought we were going back to Maya, but I guess not. Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particular... <laughs> Mia, this is no time for these kinds of... This is serious moments, okay? This is no time... That's right, Phoenix. That's what I just said. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that, or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. No, it's really not. But we're the ace attorney. We can't lose. We're unstoppable. We're undefeated so far, Phoenix. It's only, you know, it's only two for two, but or two for O, oh, but hey. All right. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Okay, we're not going right into the kid then. Or that director. Okay. What's up, Sal? Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude could you get? Oh, God. He's gonna do this this whole fucking cross-examination. Good lord. Uh, time to get my voice to work out. You don't know me? I'm the director. I make the steel samurai noob raffle. I'm so sorry. So, Salmonella, I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Y yes your honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. R right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. She really doesn't, does she? <clears throat> okay. I was at the studios from about, around 9 that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run-through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Okay, well, I have a pretty good idea of what to press here. But I want to check... I don't have... the plates. It's obvious that he didn't end up skipping lunch. Neither him nor D. Vasquez. Um, I'm also interested to see if any of these uh, bigwigs that they were in the meeting with come to corro uh, corroborate? Is that the word? Their story. So, I think all we can do here is press on everything. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. 
Yes, Your Honor. Okay. <clears throat> I guess let's just press everything. Is that when you always come into work? Oh, oh no, I come in all sort of hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your- in What does that mean, Phoenix? <laughs> Still, for what it's worth, it was, I was pretty busy all that day. Sad face. Tell us more about that. Uh, action scene run through. In the employee area. That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Saburai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else at the run through? Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing, lol. She was chewing on Heber, if you could believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Okay. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this, the injury, yeah. But WP twisted his ankle through the run through, see? Alright, that's the lamp. Which, of course, led to me missing my lunch. Uh, are Roths? R-O-F-S, rolling on the floor, starving? Maybe. That could be. I hear that everyone else ate lunch at the employee area. What exactly did they have for lunch? T-Bone steak. The assistant cooked some up. I, like, yawned in the middle of that, so I just kind of rolled with it, and it was very weird. I apologize. Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. But there were also plates with what seemed like steak juice on them outside of Trailer 2. Or Studio 2. Everyone else meeting that the witness did not eat with them. That's true, but that doesn't mean he didn't eat at all. But I had a meeting at the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Yeah, there's no way. So in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yeah, no steak at least. Could you believe it? No steak at least. That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Yeah, it's it's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. Uh, hmm? what, what, what did you want? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <clears throat> Uh, no, er, uh, uh, <laughs> good call. I, er, I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. Oh, okay. But I did eat after all. Of course, okay. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. Well, how'd you get it if you didn't ever go to the employee area? I brought it to the trailer thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect it as much. So when exactly did you eat it? We took one break during that meeting. I, er, wolfed it down then. <laughs> a mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Oh, come on, Phoenix. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. It sure does. I'll press on that one a bit more. Okay. We were in the meeting until around four. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this, the sponsors turned to me and say, Mr. Manella, those scripts of yours are not appropriate. <laughs> what? What? Actually, I kind of can. So nobody left the table during that whole meeting? During the meeting? Well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's not true. You didn't take a single break? Uh, well, y yeah, not a one. Hmm. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Yep, we gotta press harder. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? Oops, Roth. Well? Um... Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Uh, sorry, I forgot the voice. Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, well yeah, I guess I, we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. <clears throat> so yeah, the, de I, the death didn't happen in the studio. That's kind of what I'm... Well, wait a minute. No. No, it did. 
it did happen in the studio because yeah because jack went back to the studio right yeah there was no picture of him because he went back for to practice a little more yeah okay sorry i had to remember some details there <laughs> uh oh edgeworth is laughing all right the break well, I know that when you got your T-bone steak, you slipped the sleeping pills into Will's food. That's something that's pretty clear cut. But then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah. You you went back there. You slipped the sleeping pills into his food. You took the Steel Samurai costume and the thing. You knew that he had a limp, so you limped across the camera and then you killed Jack. Pretty pretty cut and dry there, right? Yeah, for what it's worth, we took a break, Raffle. But it was only 15 minutes. 15, that's only 13 at base 12. What does that mean? I don't, I'm not familiar with that. Not enough time for someone to say, come in a murder in Studio One, lol. That's only enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. But why? Why would you have killed Jack? That's the weird thing. I don't know what what the motive is for anybody to have killed Jack. I don't think it would have even been enough time for that, but that's just me. You're, yeah, if you want to actually, like, savor the steak. Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. All right. Let's get it. We took a break, Waffle. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. <laughs> I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. Um... That's weird. But I don't want to, like, prove his testimony. Wait, no. What time- what time was on the clock? Wasn't there- I forget what time was on the clock. 2.15, right? I guess we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. 2.30. That's the time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. Exactly. I guess it's possible time-wise. Only 15 minutes. What were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak. What else? There were two plates on that table. Yes. Oh, right. The other one was Diva's. Yep. Diva Vasquez's plate. Okay. Diva Vasquez, the producer. To eat T-bone steak in 15 minutes. That's quite a feat. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One. Why is that? Oh. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of qu- What do you mean, pointless? Get out of here, Edgeworth. Your Honor. The testimony to this point has been made has made oh my god the testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear the people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder no we we were just getting there dude it was impossible for any of them to go to studio 1 what something wrong mr wright surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to studio 1 hmm well mr wright phoenix this is critical Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I mean, why... How, it's not impossible. If I agree to let everyone in that trailer off the hook, then the trial is over. Mr. Powers will be found guilty for... Exactly. The victim was murdered at 2.30, the exact time of the break in the meeting. Exactly. With 15 minutes, murder is certainly a possibility. Hmm. I suppose you might say that. Alright, I've got the judge thinking now. Never a dull moment with you, Mr. Wright. As with you, Edgeworth. What's your point, Edgeworth? You've been doing your homework, haven't you? Look at the court record. The court record? Surely you knew that from 2.15 to 2 to 4 o'clock, the path... Okay. The path between the studios was blocked. Mrs. Monkey... Wasn't it Mr. Monkey? 
Was I wrong? Mrs. Monkey's head had fallen across the path. Whoa, you're right. Yeah, that's how... True. The break in the trailer... It's a, true. The break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. Okay. But... It's just conjecture, but it's, it's a speculation, I think, is the term. Um, couldn't Jack have been killed in Studio 2 and tr at 2.30? Wait a minute! 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 He was killed by a spear. The fence was like... Yeah, okay. He could have been killed in Studio 2, not by the spear, but by the fence. And then for them to transport his body from 2 to 1 at 4 o'clock after the head was removed and fixed. What time was his body discovered? That's what we need to know. Because they wouldn't have had to pass the camera. Because the camera is like down there to the south of this picture. Okay, okay, I've got it. I've got it. The fallen Mrs. Monkey's head ba barred the way. It's actually Mr. Exactly, I was right too. <laughs> it's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. I got it. I got it. But why? Why would they have done it though? I feel like I'm a little bit ahead of this game right now. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. No counter argument, Mr. Wright? Then I'm afraid you lose this round. No! I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? what? It's over? No. Very well, the court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it's also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Uh. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, Given the size of his costume, no one other than- no. No, I've got it. I've got- I've got it all figured out. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he's the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Okay, here comes Cody. Who is this witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Okay. Order. I will have order! I see. The court will take a ten minute recess, recess after which we will hear your witness. Court has adjourned for recess. Okay. Okay. I've got it. Uh, it's okay, Mia. I've got it. I've got a pretty sound theory here. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. M mia Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. Not at that time. Yeah, they, they couldn't have gone to Studio One until after 4 p.m. Did we... Yeah, we, do, we we know what time he died, but we don't know when his body was discovered. And then, yeah, they wouldn't have had to pass the gate. Yeah, I've got it all figured out. We've got it. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, er, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, hero to children everywhere, after all. I... you... thanks. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Cody. I got a... 
I gotta do it this time. There's this is this is our last shot. How are you gonna word this and how am I gonna spin it? Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the, 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 that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. Nice to see Edgeworth taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> Can we get him a box or something? Your Honor, perhaps you could... Thank you, Edgeworth. Thanks for... Oh my god. Perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, w right. God, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Alright. Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness. What? Just because you're all grown up doesn't mean you can push me around. Ugh, exactly. You tell him, Cody. Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. I like Cody. I got this feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth. Please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <clears throat> Witness, er, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, er, you, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, er, incident? You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just... Mr. Edgeworth will be fine. I prefer bearded gentleman myself. A very long day. <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. <sighs> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Okay, whatever. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix. I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. He definitely did, because he gave us a scrapbook. You better make a note of it in the court record. Okay. The new digital camera. Cody always carries it, though he's still learning how to use it. How old is Cody? He's in second grade? Seven? Okay. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw on the day of the incident. All right, Cody. What do you got? I wanted to see a Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me, but, I mean, she did see you. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. Okay. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. Pow! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. Okay. I think I know what to press on, but we're still going to press on everything just to uh, make sure. But be gentle, gentle. Remember you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Yeah. He's sure a lot tougher than Red White. I'll tell you that much. Okay. You really like the Steel Samurai, huh? Of course I do. I taped every show, and I go to all the live performances. That's impressive. Have you been to the amusement park? <laughs> of course, duh. My dad always takes me. Poor, poor dad. <laughs> Phoenix, why are you so judgmental? I found a map on the internet. Yep, okay. Was that day the first time you'd been to the studio? Uh, actually, I'd been a couple times before. I never managed to get there on a rehearsal day. And that security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk with you cutting me off all the time? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that George's reactions. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. Off the path? Yeah, you know how the studios are in a valley there? If you go off the path a little, there's woods. That's where I was. I see. Anyhow, 
I was going for the studio. Did nothing unusual happen on your way to the studio? Unusual? Did you see this monkey by any chance? Oh, you mean Mr. Monkey? Yeah, I saw him, but his head wasn't busted. Okay. So you went straight to the studio. I got kind of lost on the way, though, for about 30 minutes. You got lost in the woods? Yeah, I couldn't figure out which way I was walking. Man, I was relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But, I get, but guess what happened next? When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai? Yeah, he was standing by the studio gate. It looked like he was thinking about something before going in. Then he opened up the gate and went inside. I see. What then? It totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. What sort of bad guy was it? A guy. A person. Kinda tall. Skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know. He was kinda far away. Hmm. Oh, he's being awfully vague. Steel Samurai took him down. Pow. What happened to the bad guy? Huh? Well... Well, he kinda didn't move. Not a bit. Like he was dead. I guess he's a real pro. What a great actor. Yeah, what a great actor. Yeah. If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for the shot, I tell you. that's This is what I wanted to press on. If you had your camera. You mean you weren't carrying your camera then? N no, I wasn't. That's bullshit. It it's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Phoenix, remember, he's a child. Use gentle words, but be firm. Easy for you to say. I wanted to see a steel... S okay. I want to press further on this. If you had your camera, yeah. Okay. Can I present the camera? It is photo of no here here this is what I need to present right it's every victory scene oh no your honor that statement contradicts this evidence it does oh come on I guess he hasn't mentioned it yet yeah um there we go yeah the music stopped and there's no blinking health bar Cody what you just said seems well a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always brought your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite, you were quite clear about that. Huh? <laughs> Look at that face. Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. Uh-oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital... <laughs> oh my god. Digital camera contraption you're talking about. It's, um, a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Um... Objection! Mr. Wright, how cool are you to terror- oh my god. I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney, no one should lie in court, that's right. Fucking updated autopsy report. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? what Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? I do. So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Well, why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well, please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Okay, I've got, I've got a pretty good straight shot here. What I saw. Y yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. The steel samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The steel samurai rules. Oh, that's so short. Hmm. Oh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay. Okay. So why didn't you use it? He's getting to that. Relax and listen. Um, 
I didn't use it because I was too busy watching the real thing. Okay. So you were watching the Steel Samurai. Did you watch the whole fight? Y yeah of course. You didn't turn away. Not even once. N no Okay, then tell us exactly what happened. Y yeah I'm getting to that. That's such a suspicious... Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guy, wham. This is so vague. So the bad guy attacked him first. Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person. He was a person. How was he dressed? I kind of don't remember. I was too busy watching the Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, well, cause the Steel Samurai brought him to justice! And how exactly did he do that? That's what we need. How did he do it? With a samurai kick, and a samurai punch, samurai chop, samurai slap, s something Cody, please! He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops! How should I play this? We got we gotta push harder. Cody. What? what Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah So what? Yet you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection! You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap. Exactly. <clears throat> My point is this. Cody, you may have s seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part. The killing blow. Order. Order. Mr. Wright. How could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, er, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Hmm. Yes, Your Honor, I have evidence. Why didn't Cody look away from the fight? Okay, because of his camera. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? Yeah, because he was fiddling. He's probably like fiddling around with his camera or something. The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation, correct? Yes. I'm aware of that too. Oh, Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. W what's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids. Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero. And not take a picture, exactly. Right. Cody... There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight, and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix? I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. R right Mia means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera, and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um, welcome to the real world, kid. <laughs> okay, no photo? Aw, Cody. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held up my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. Th that's all that happened. Yup. Okay. 
Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. All right, Cody. What do we got? Pops? <laughs> yeah, I called you Pops, you spiky-haired geezer. G geezer? I'm Mr. Edgeworth, and I guess I'm the bearded gentleman. That's what I hate about grown-ups. You're also self-conscious. <laughs> okay, off with the kid gloves. Testify, witness, testify! <laughs> Yipes! <laughs> The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. <laughs> so you did see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... I guess the Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving? Strangely? Yeah, he was limping. So I held up a... I held up my camera to take a picture. Why couldn't you take a picture? My newer camera has too many buttons. I couldn't figure it out. I tried to take a picture. I really tried. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. When the lens opened, what did you see? Uh, well, a person on the ground and the seal samurai. Th that's all that happened. Yep. That's all? Y yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have, I would have once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one? We gotta, we gotta keep pressing, because there's no way he didn't at least attempt it. Because he's gotten every single one of the finishing blows so far. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey! Bullseye? How did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. W wow. This feels great, <laughs> Phoenix. Y yeah. Yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but I was too late. It, it was too late, so I erased them. You erased them? Y yeah. Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai, Victorious? Well, you know, wh why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction soon, or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. You're right, Pops. The steel samurai had... Okay. Let's try the scrapbook here. Objection! Yep. Got it. Cody. Wh wh what? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh oh, right. What was it you told me then? I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Exactly. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Aha! Uh -huh. Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackens. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No. Wait. No way. Phoenix? I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is. M mia are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. 
Tell them what the truth is. Um, what are you referring to? Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Because the Steel Samurai didn't win? That's the only one of these that makes sense. But... Huh. Wait a minute. Okay, there's more... There's more to this. I could think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. Interesting. Okay. You mean the Steel Samurai... lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. N n n no way! No! Okay, so that did happen. Wait. I it's impossible. Th the Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait! Wait. Hold on. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Ooh. What if... Mmm. I got it. I got it. I got it. Jack is the one who went to the employee area. He didn't even have to leave the employee area, even. Yeah, okay, yeah, so he, he was in the employee area, he slipped the sleeping pills into Will's food, and then he took the Steel Samurai costume, he would also know about the limp, and he is the one who went across, saying, oh, I'm gonna go practice, right, and then he was going to, got it, he was going to kill either the director or the producer or both because he's mad about being demoted to a villain role rather than being the star anymore. They reacted in self-defense and then tried to hide the body and frame Will. Got it. And that's, and that's also why Jack would try to, yeah, okay, okay, I've got it, I've got it. Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. I feel so smart. This is like airtight. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take the picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw, he saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. I've got it. I've got it. For order, I will have order. W witness, I mean, Cody, is this true? W what did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Oh, aw, Cody. Cody. That day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Okay, okay, you're right. The Steel Samurai f fell down, but then he didn't m move. Oh, oh, I feel so bad for Cody. Order, order, order. What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yeah, according to your witness testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on then? I've got it. Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's all this about? The Steel Samurai was in fact the victim, and it was Hammer. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai! Hell yes, I got it! All of this is invigorating, I love this. 
order, order, order. So the steel samurai in this photograph, you're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. I'm so smart, dude. But, but wait, hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Ms. Oldbag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 o'clock p.m. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio. See, that, yeah, okay. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But, but why would the victim do such a thing? I know exactly why. I don't know. I know, Phoenix! Come on! I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. You're right, Cody. Yes. Pops. Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Let's go. What do you got, Cody? Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. I'm surprised Gumshoe didn't scrub it. What? what Show us, quick. No way, man. Not if you're going to look at me like that. No. Oh, Cody. Here, this is it. Outside of Studio 2. Yeah, baby. I got it. Well, looking at this is a little hard to say. I'm afraid that it could be anyone in that costume. Your, op your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. It's very decisive to me. I'm sorry. This doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at that photo once more. I've got it. I've got it already. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Wh what what y Your Honor, may I see that photo once more, please? C certainly I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Find the inconsistency in the photo. It's right here, baby. I think it's here. You seem to be lacking even more confidence than usual. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's, is it up here? Is it this number two? Yeah, okay, sure. Your Honor, look at this. I see a gate. Oh, does that say studio on it? It's not a backwards two for some reason? I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh yes, well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Certainly not a one, your honor, correct? Ugh! Let's go. I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. B but th that's impossible. Hmm? Eh? What's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked <laughs> with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what did we see? I I got it, baby. It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the true scene of the crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. It's in Studio Two, on the fence. Here at Studio Two. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2 because the trailer is there. As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio 2. Now on a day a meet on that day a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Ms. D. Vasquez were outside eating a steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. 
the path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Y yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember, Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1, yet in actuality the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. Exactly. O order Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person in that security, the person that's, that the security guard, Ms. Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a Steel Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. Madness. Okay, sorry. Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim. Why would he steal a Steel Samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? No. I'm suggesting that he did it in order to uh, attempt murder, and it backfired. W well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. I... I don't have proof that it was him. But I've already... It had to have been. There's no other... There's no other thing, but, like... I've already proved it. I don't have any other proof than what I've done. Proof? Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure I don't have anything like that. Phoenix. Even if you're not 100% sure about this, you have to try. And I think you've got proof that... Do I? Yes, Mr. Wright? Actually, I do have proof. Here's my proof that, that Jack Hammer stole the costume. I guess it's this? Are the sleeping pills? This is it. An empty medicine bottle? Yeah, okay, I got it. I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. I can't believe he left the bottle behind. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent that entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. We can fingerprint the bottle. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Very well, the court will take a possession of the bottle. Okay. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Oh man, we're going for three this time. Okay. Cody Hackens' testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The Steel Samurai seen by Ms. Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? I've already got that figured out. Well, I guess I don't know which one of the two did it, but... Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm. You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Very well, court is adjourned. Damn. Damn, what a what a spicy twist. I love this. This is I was I'll be honest, I really wasn't feeling this case super hard through the first interrogation and then especially not through like the second investigation. I was kind of getting a little bit like eh, but now now I'm feeling it. It's pretty yeah, this case is pretty good.
Whew. That was a close one. We were saved by a hair, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. M me too. Really? You both seem so... so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too! d dead Poor Will. <laughs> of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers. We have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you will- But I promise you we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. R right Thanks. <laughs> okay. Very nice. That was- that was a great trial, man. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty. Well, I suppose that will be everything for today's episode of Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Blind. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my Twitch, Twitter, or join my Discord, they are in the description. And I hope to see you all in the next one.